just from how it affects our, our mood, it actually has an effect on our cells. So, for example, if we stay with the color red, red light is very stimulating. Um, so if you take, if you're around red, you're looking at red, you, you shine red light on your body, it actually stimulates the cells in your body to kind of kick into gear. It stimulates mitochondrial function. So it actually, it's the, which are the powerhouses of the cell. So it wakes up cells that are kind of like lying there not doing very much and it's like, wake up, kick into gear. And it, so that's where it, it accelerates wound healing. This is what was originally discovered by NASA um, in the early 2000s. So they discovered that shining red light on wounds will accelerate healing. It makes them heal more quickly. And this isn't new information because they, they knew this back in ancient China. They would take um, red silk scarves and lay them over people that had smallpox. So it would, it would make the, the smallpox um, scarring, like the, the, the wounds from the smallpox heal more quickly. Oh, so they would take the, the red silk, put them out in the sun. So then they're getting the sunlight that's filtered through the red. So the red, what would be filtered through is red light onto their skin and it would heal the, it would heal the wounds from the smallpox. Then in 1902, a guy named um, Niels Finsen discovered the exact same thing. Using red light actually healed, accelerated the healing of smallpox. So he won the, the Nobel Prize for Medicine um, for that and some other things that he was doing with light therapy. And he had a very strong intuitive sense that the sun has all these healing properties. So he was one of the early people that started actually proving it scientifically. And then during World War II, they discovered that um, if if they didn't bandage up soldiers that had, you know, they had wounds from fighting and instead of um, bandaging them up and putting them into the hospital ward, they found that if they took the bandages off, put the soldiers out under sunlight, those soldiers, the wounds would heal much more quickly and they wouldn't have to amputate often. Oh. And the reason that the same thing happens when you go under sunlight is because all of those color rays are in sunlight. So red is one of them. So red accelerates wound healing. And a lot of a lot of people, if they go to spas or anything like that, or you can use these devices at home, you can use red light, red light therapy devices to stimulate collagen production. So it will not only heal wounds more quickly, it actually gets rid of wrinkles. So a lot of women go to spas and they get these the red light therapy treatments to get rid of wrinkles. So interesting. So interesting. Mm -hmm.